Happy Tuesday, Folsom High. It's January 13th, and it's time for the Bulldog Weekly Bulletin. I'm Kaylee, and we have your news coming up, but first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Meet and connect with other FHS students with similar interests by joining one of Folsom High's many clubs. Sign up through the site below. And the FHS Society of Women Engineers is open. Please join Alliance for Bulldog Inclusion for a back to school slash New Year club meeting. They will be playing a themed would you rather game and hanging out. Also, ABI is looking for new officers for next year. If you'd be interested in an officer position, fill out the Google form linked below. Please fill out the form by January 3rd. They hope to see you at their next meeting. And now it's time for Club Corner. Folsom High School's Gay Street Alliance Club is meeting every Thursday in Microsoft Teams during student activities. If you are interested in joining, go to the Club Rush page on strifle.net to find the link to Teams page. Folsom High School's Chess Club is meeting every Friday during student activities in Microsoft Teams. All levels of players are welcome, from beginners to grandmasters. Math Club, also known as Mathletes, meets every Friday during the activities time and will participate in online math competitions throughout the year. If you are interested in joining, please email mathclubfolsomhigh at gmail.com and we will add you to your contact list. Please join the Alliance for Bulldog Inclusion Club, a club dedicated to creating a welcoming environment for students with and without disabilities. We play games such as Kahoot and Jeopardy and have themed parties. We'd love to have you as part of our club. Join Bulldogs Reaching Out. BRO is a club that advocates for anti-drug and anti-violence by presenting to younger students. Although we currently cannot travel to schools, BRO is making plans to virtually stay active. Join our Google Classroom for more information. The code is AJVMQLF or use the link below to join. Science Bull Club. Join Science Bull Club, a fun and fast-paced Jeopardy game covering a variety of topics. Join the Remind. The code is FHSSCIC for information about meetings and other updates. Quiz Bowl Club. Do you think you know a lot about a lot of things? Prove it and join Quiz Bowl Club, where you'll compete with teammates in a fun and fast-paced round of trivia covering a vast array of topics. Join the Remind. The code is FHSQB for more information about meetings and other updates. Would you like to create characters, fight monsters, and go on adventures with a group of friends? If so, join Dungeons & Dragons Club. We will be meeting every Friday to play Dungeons & Dragons, a tabletop role-playing game. Meetings are short and pressure-free. For more information on all of these clubs, look at the club page on strifle.net. <clears throat> Calling all gamers. We will teach you how to make the game of your dreams so you can make the next Call of Duty. If interested, please fill out this form below. See you there. And the FHS Peer Tutor List is available online. Interested students can find the link on the FHS Counseling website. Students must contact peer tutors directly utilizing their FCUSD email addressing so that tutors are able to identify them as a student. All tutoring is virtual. Peer tutoring services are $12 per hour. Fees are paid directly to the peer tutor. Also, the counseling department is excited to offer drop-in virtual office hours for students every Monday from 12 to 1 p.m. The Zoom links are posted in your advisory Google Classroom. Attention juniors, the application period to the Folsom High delegate for the 2021 sessions of Boys and Girls State is now open. Boys and Girls State are among the most respected and selected educational programs of government instruction for U.S. high school students. Boys and Girls State applications are available in the College and Career Center's Google Classroom and are due to the Google Classroom by 3 p.m. on February 1st. For more information, you can visit the Boys and Girls State websites or contact Mrs. Reed for more information. Get your pictures in the yearbook. The yearbook staff invites students and parents to submit photos for the yearbook. If you've got great photos of school and community events, 
or just you and your friends having fun, we'd like to see them. Our photographers can't be everywhere. Help us get as many photos as possible to create a terrific look everyone will want to have. To submit your photos online, log on to the link below or log on to FHS website, click on yearbook, and follow the link to upload your photos. That's it for today's bulletin. I'm Kaylee, and let's make it a great day to be a Bulldog. My hope for my community in this country is that we stand more united than when you began your presidency. I hope that while you were in office, you begin to address the issue of inequitable education in America. My hope for my country and my community is that everyone will be able to receive free health care despite their financial situation. I hope that you will seriously research the implications of fake news on social media. I hope to see a progressive plan in combating climate change. I think it would be nice of you to help low-income families with COVID protection doing things like opening up little health centers in low-income areas so people can get the help they need. Continue to bring money back to middle-class families, continue to rise the poor uh, out of unemployment and back into jobs in our country. Do you plan on addressing this volatile split in America right now? And if so, how? Do you think you can repair this break? I put my faith in you to end systemic racism and tear down all the barriers that come with it. So, over winter break, I did a handful of interesting things. During the course of the break, I worked on a treehouse with my family. When Christmas came around, we had a great feast and exchanged gifts. You know, good Christmas stuff. I also got a chair. Same for New Year's. We had a lot of fun during that too. Other than that, my break consisted of playing board games, video games, and generally enjoying the winter. I hope you enjoyed yours just as much as I. Winter break. Let's see, where do I even start? Well, I woke up at noon pretty much every day, mainly because I'd stay up to like 5 or 6 watching anime or some type of show. In fact, I finished Banana Fish, Erased, and Alice in Borderland each in one sitting. Did I regret it the next day when I was super tired and had to go to work? Oh, 100%. But they were also some of the best shows I've ever watched, so it was totally worth it. Aside from messing up my sleep schedule and watching way too many shows, I completed the manga wall I've been planning for the past few months, and needless to say, I was very happy to the with the outcome, to the point where I decided to take some photos in front of it. I had a robotics practice pretty much every day, and I'm surprised we aren't all sick of each other yet. But our efforts went to nothing when we found out our competition was cancelled for the second time this season due to COVID. Now, I could say something sweet, like the best part of winter break was my brother coming home from college. But, to be honest, the best part was definitely gaining more reach on Spotify when I've never actually announced it. In fact, I found it on a TikTok, so that was kind of cool. For my winter break, what I did was I played Minecraft with some friends of mine on a server. Then I played some board games with my family. Then I watched The Mandalorian on Disney Plus and finally I dreamed of finally being able to go outside during my winter break I built a desk for my room I did yard work in my backyard I celebrated Christmas with my family I celebrated the New Year's with my friends and I slept a lot and fixed my sleep schedule as well.
Anyways, I'm sure we all had tremendously eventful winter breaks last year. I mean, who wouldn't want to brag about their endless hours scrolling through TikTok, sleeping until your family thinks you're in a coma, and of course, your wrongly timed existential crisis right before your sibling walks into the room to water your succulents. But unlike these typical pastimes, I had the lucky opportunity of editing a Christmas acapella video for my church's choir that made me fall in love of my life. Oh my god. It was only reasonable that I graced my family with my own five-hour karaoke session. They enjoyed it. Obviously. After shattering the eardrums of my family members, we got to participate in some famously climactic board and card games. Go fish. We're playing Uno. Other than ignoring all my texts and calls, practicing flying my drone and got pretty good at it too, if I do say so myself. Mostly. And virtually teaching English to university class in Japan for FEMA. Join FEMA. We have t-shirts. And I also was determined to complete my film blast a week late and was very unsurprisingly not successful. Ah! <laughs> that was my break. Explained as eventfully as possible because 99% of those 14 days was just me mentally preparing to make PSAs for this class again. Ah! Yep. Wear a mask.